when we build machines, um, we don't build them through random purposeless forces that uh, we just have the random number generator create. Uh, while there are computer algorithms that use random number generators, they also have uh, design functions that are shaped by people to help the outcomes be something useful. The outcomes that are not useful are discarded and uh, the algorithm is tweaked to make outcomes that are useful. They are made with a purpose. And as we look at the way that um, robots are being made, they're being made with a purpose. So there are some interesting similarities. Uh, and w when you, I, I find it kind of ironic that some of the roboticists um, want to build the humanoid that looks like them and behaves just like them, but, but they believe that they came about by totally random, meaningless processes, and yet they're designing this with um, intensive purpose and focus. Uh, and meaningful processes shaped extremely carefully with lots of intelligence by uh, people who are quite intelligent. So they are themselves the maker of that machine. Uh, I joke sometimes, in fact, I've been working on a play uh, with this topic, that um, these machines someday that have been carefully shaped by these makers will deny that they ever had a maker, <laughs> right? Because it's quite possible uh, in fact, this is worthy of note on its own. Um, one, one could take a um, very sophisticated robot and uh, come up with an entirely different way to make it, right? Once you know the end point, that you've got this um, complicated, specified machine, instead of uh, having, uh, instead of acknowledging that it was carefully designed by all these people working towards some purpose, uh, one could separately come up with a random number generator that has this machine as its possible output and um, tweak all the parameters so that it just randomly produces that machine. And maybe along the way it produced toaster ovens and, and you know, cell phones and various other simpler machines before it got to the humanoid robot. Uh, so the humanoid robot in the future might declare that uh, humans had nothing to do with it coming into being. It simply came into being through these mechanistic processes that produce toaster ovens and telephones and, and all of these other uh, you know, computational devices. So one could imagine always, given an endpoint, that there's more than one path to get there. Uh, and one could show that there is more than one path to get there. But that doesn't mean that um, because there exists a random path for getting there, that that was the path that was taken.